Oh man, performing first time setup. I fucked this up. I just downloaded it. This will give people a chance to get here, I guess. Ugh. Ooh, so tired. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Uh-oh. Thought it froze. Froze, 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 froze. Is this really gonna take this fucking long? Or is it going to be one of those things where it thinks about it for one million years and then goes... <laughs> I'm going to get a drink of water and hope this deals with itself. AFK. Hold on. Doing something. Mm. Might need to update the size of this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Shoulda not assumed. Day 99, think I'd be better at this. Oh dang, it crashed. All right then. Hello. We're having technical difficulties. I'll let it get cooking, maybe. There we go, okay. Now it's, nope, it's losing its mind. It's losing its mind. Oh God. Mega monkey. Okay. Here. Can I make this the correct size now? It's lost its mind. You think of after 99 days of streaming. Mini monkey. Hold on. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. It's being a bitch. Telltale game, okay. Get rid of this one, maybe. Is that the right size? Y'all bitches is crazy. Okay. Worlds within worlds. Streaming looks hard. It's just sometimes it's really annoying that the... Okay, one more one more thing. I think I got it. Close. I just want to make it a little bit bigger. Nope, not that one. Nope. Is that all the bigger you're going to make it? Okay, well, fuck it. Well, we'll figure it out the next time. We're going. Are you a sky space pirate? <laughs> Who knows? Yes. Fuck it, we're live. <laughs> we'll do it live. Nice. 
It's my school. The art does already look way better. I think this was like 2000. Uh, five ish? Six ish? No later. At last, my victory is at hand. Har, har, har. Behold, the legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo. Har, whose sacrifice I, will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Har, har. Impressed yet? Which I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his booty cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last minute heroics, you dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! It's a little different. It's a, it's like a mix between the other two. Come to Guybrush, you spooky Buddha recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. Enchanted root beer. Disease toast. Okay. Cannon, but Elaine jettisoned all my ammo after I accidentally sunk her mother's schooner. I wonder if there's anything useful down there. No, nothing but a bunch of lazy crewmen. I can't believe I spent so much time recruiting those guys. Yeah, where's the mini fridge? Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate. Where's my galley? Galley's gotta be back here, right? Turn around, you dumb. For the last time, the chuck, I'm just not that into you. Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter. Hold on, let me see if there's subtitles. It is really hard to hear. It's hard for me to hear too. The the uh, mix is wrong. Let's turn down music a little and sounds. Let's see if that helps. And also subtitles. Butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, Guybrush. Now stop the chuckle, we're all dead. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked in that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in a tiny monkey coffin. Okay. Where's the monkey coffin? I didn't see no tiny monkey coffin. You'll be sorry when my sweet patootie gets his hands on you, Patootie. Oh, okay. Monkey coffin. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. Never forget the horrible hula and Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshing? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. To display your inventory, move the cursor to the right edge of the screen and select the tab that appears. Select the magna- okay, so. Magnifying glass. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff 
will work wonders on my cuts. So you move stuff here to combine. All right, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Flat root beer. What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Mentos, the fresh maker. Brush. Now we're going to die. Again. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Okay. Yeah, he's got a beard. It's not great. Cease your infernal struggling, or I'll gut you from God <laughs> to gizzard. Uh, try Elaine to talk to her. Man, I'm not used to getting hints from the game. Elaine! Ah! Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough. I've got a better idea. Several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, a native pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. My ship, my booty, my collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop the chuck. Ah, a sextant. Threepwood, so good of you to join us. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Okay. I need to make grog or root beer. What up, monkey? Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to the shot. I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother in law incident. Can I pick it up? It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. Oh, yeah. I've seen one of those. Will someone please think of the monkeys? <laughs> those roots could really use a trim. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. How do I pick up stuff? Can I pick up stuff? Cut you open? Or, I mean, loose? <laughs> Brace yourself. I'm gonna cut you free. Cut through these ropes with that sword? Are you crazy? Crazy in love, maybe. Crazy like a fox. The chuck, I'll be okay. Uh. I don't know how to combine stuff that's not in my possession. Dip, dip. Just what I've always wanted. I don't know. Dip. Mm, no. <laughs> the fuck do I have? Uh, didn't research if this was a direct sequel. Thought LeChuck was a dead giant statue. I mean, he comes back every time in some other form. Like, every single time. <laughs> adventures I went through finding all the parts for this thing.
fizzy fills breakfast. Give your mouth the gift of fizz. Should I put this in the root beer? Or in the grog? Fizzy low cal grog. I bet I can make a fortune selling this to, well, no one. Cut roots? Yeah, what kind of plant is Chuck? Oh, it is a, it'd be root beer. Yeah, I gotcha. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There, much neater. Some fizzy root crop. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. Monkey snot. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. I hate his walk cycle. Chuck, do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Wait, what's happening? It's voodoo, oh bitch! God, Chuck, this is supposed to work! I don't know, it's so bright! What the heck? Woof. I, I, I'm human. That's debatable. Skybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Brush? Trouble. Elaine! Trouble. <laughs> oh, thought I could pump, pump, pump. <laughs> hot sun. She burns. I got like a cursed voodoo hand that wants nothing but evil. Ahoy there, me hearty. What? Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog in... I don't! My beautiful pirate don't! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry, I, I don't know what got to... into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look at, kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin, Davy Nippikin, senior reporter, Keel Hall of Gazette. And welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Right! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Buckling his um, swash. Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. 
say? Just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's the only one Gelato. ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Creepwan, the winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Where's the pirate profanity? From these pirates or from me? <laughs> deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaula Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this Deep Gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guybrush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Yes, siree is not a pirate term. <laughs> Did he say yes, siree? Nipperkin? He's not a pirate. I love making deals with complete strangers. A deal? Yeah. Our They're jokes, but he nice doesn't say them. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver flag. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> okay. So, they did it where you didn't, like, what he said was not what he said, but it was for the purpose of a joke before. You'd be like, you know, go fuck yourself, whatever. Or, like, saying something mean, or whatever. And then he'd, he'd go, yes, yes, sir, or whatever. Because you'd get your, your ass whooped. And it was a joke! But if I, if you have me give choices, fucking say them, unless it's a joke. There was no part of that was a joke. Club 41, is this Murray? Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome wind. <laughs> unwelcome wind. Wind still okay. sucks. Oh, poops. I just Flotsam wanted you to Island stop talking. Flotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. Printer's Inc., the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Fantastic. Can go in here? It's locked. No one allowed in there but keelhauler employees, Leafwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Looks like I'll have to read the dialogue. Yeah, fair. I keep forgetting this isn't a point and click. I keep clicking where I want to go. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Good times. Fancy building. Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. This is hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return. <laughs> or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. We need to go see the, the club. I want to see if Murray's here. 
I hate his walk cycle. First, I want to see the sign. Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. <laughs> please go away. Card? Card? What card? Hmm. I need a card. Club 41. I wonder what the 41 stands for. There's a hole in this boat. I need a rubber tree well, and a that's cookie cutter. Not gonna work. <laughs> and some glue. Carpet. Where the fuck did it say that? Oh, printing press is up here. And a weather vane. N E W S. Hey, the wind directions spell news. This means something. What green stuff? On my hand? Where am I going? Okay. Thought it crashed on me. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Fay, pirate hunter par excellence. Hmm. Great. A pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Fourth. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. Well, blow me down, glassworks. Sure. It's locked. Can't go nowhere in this bitch. Everybody's got a sign. The doctor is busy. I'm going in. He does walk really weird. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Great, a nose sconce. It's what I always wanted. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. Damn it. Remind me never to press ex escape. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. No, I want, this is something. This weird... It's like an intercom or something. Your walk cycle's terrible! Return of Pegnos Pete? Yeah. Found your nose! This is a boat. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my right off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? These are not anything that I want. I don't want to threaten the guy. Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. <laughs> no one's been man enough to take the screaming novel for over two years. Huh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Goods the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, boyo. 
But I didn't build the screaming novel. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Citizens? They drove? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sotsdok. I dig it. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Bounteous, eh? Be seeing ya. I look forward to it. I'm gonna knock you over. Get on there. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. Prepare to be boarded, then, Winslow. I see. Grease. Good grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine gonna be P.O.'d? P.O.'d! Okay. Oh, we can run. That's good. Doesn't have to walk like a moron. Wait, what was that down there? No, it's a box. Oh, dang. Pop, pop, pop. Ow. Potatoes? And Beats? now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. Oh, great. I don't think those embers are going out anytime soon. I got nothing. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Get up here, fool. Ali, you don't press escape. Uh oh. This is like a wily e. coyote thing. Okay. pirate like yourself wind up making little glass uniforms. Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole and kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Oh, to be honest, you aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe we'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. It's almost like the cartoon reboot for Veggie Tales. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. 
Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. We encircled the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's wings. Yikes. What's this alphabet sail all about? It's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Hey, very can. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Sure. Well, I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go! A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is YouTubes these days. YouTubes. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> Free vowels! Get them while they're vowels! Get them while they're vowels! Hi, Rando. Ah! Hi. Ah, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinaire. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It Nothing. looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I look for the rarest of pirate treasures. I'm almost certain I'm going Hello. to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. He doesn't like porcelain. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? You're not reacting properly, Guybrush. The rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate pear flavored breakfast cereal. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. I see. How many PP pirates do you have left? The only power pirate I have not found is the ultra rare, impossible to find dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scam? Yes. Some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. He is older. It's been some time. And he also kicked his, his spear of porcelain, apparently. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Yeah, we did pirates versus ninjas for about. They are enemies, not the same. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. I think we already asked this, but uh, no, let's not ask. Can this. I call you Doro the Explorer? No. <laughs> Look, it's a Ninja Dave figure with throwing star action. Quick. I, I didn't see anything. Okay, I'm supposed Sorry, to take something from him. I'm sure. Probably supposed to take one of those. What is this thing in the bottom? Return to jungle entrance. Oh, I see. That jungle sure is noisy. 
Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know shit. Let's go get lost. And see if any of this makes sense. No, don't press escape, you fucking turd. Vampires and werewolves, dogs and cats living together? That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Hmm, curious. Oh, I thought something was come at, coming out of it. It's just my stinky cheese hand. Bombs. Can I have a bomb? Smiling stands Young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. Yeah, take all the bombs. No, no one wants to talk about Twilight. <laughs> no, so, okay. We said pirates versus ninjas, which led to vampires and werewolves, which led to Twilight because they exist in that world. Oh, poor Brandon. Mom read them of her own volition. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. I don't even know you. <laughs> I think the last time you told me I said that, I had forgotten and I, I laughed at myself again. <laughs> Look at this. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Does it tell me anything? Where to go? I hear a pig. Hold on. There was a noise. Oh, wait. This was on the map. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Arr, no! Yikes. Okay, this was on the map. She only made him read the first one, and then he read the last three on his own. <laughs> Poor shame. Like, is it the, the sounds? We go, let's see. I still hear monkeys. Okay. Do we go to a board? Do we go to a, we find, oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Go back to that. I don't think she said she read them. Oh, damn. What's the word? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Kill all. What's the word? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. <laughs> okay. Okay. We gotta get back to the place with the... With the, um... This. Okay. And then we get close to the, the edge and it makes a, a noise. This is a bug. See, okay, we go toward the boar. And then it was toward the monkey. Yes, good. That monkey. Sure is noisy. And then a bee and a monkey. No escape! Nope. Bee, then monkey. Yes. Monkey. I think I'm doing this right, but who knows. Boar, bee, bird. Boar, bee, bird. Uh, 
Lucky. Oh god. Okay, four. Oh crap, I heard a buzz and a monkey. Continue on. Bird. I don't know if I fucked up there. That jungle sure is noisy. Shit. Maybe one of them won't have a noise. That's a B. Mm. I think we fucked it up. I wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. Jenna, did you see the animals in Animal Crossing gave Allison a birthday party today? Yes, I did see that, actually. There, I saw some post about it that there was a little girl that, like, cried because the Animal Crossing people are so nice. They were so nice on her birthday. Oh, that's the beginning. Curious. Need to get back to the not this. Oh crap. That's back to town. Was there something different about this clamshell? No, you can't look at that one. Hmm. Curious. What are we supposed to be doing? So we got this map, and what I think is you start from the... Was I supposed to huck the map in the well? Or just have the map at the well? You need something before you go treasure hunting anyway. Okay, we'll get we'll give up on this. So the sounds that are made sound like a monkey, a boar, a bird, or a bee. And I think you go the direction it is. Jungle entrance. My goodness. Creepy shack. You know how to get one item already. Is it carpet? <laughs> Is it a, a unicorn? Takes a long time to run. Hmm. Shortcut. You said it but didn't do it? Okay. What the fuck did I... Oh, gotta steal his Barbies. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the carpet. I'll go steal his Barbies. Huh. You'd think a classy joint like this would have a red carpet. I mean action figures. Hello again. Are you Stop doing that? Look, it's a ninja day figure with throwing star action. Quit. Okay, Gabrush. A little porcelain. Just okay. Close your eyes and go to your happy place. Good. You acknowledged that he doesn't like porcelain. Ew. Thank you. 
Are you messing with me? What? It's Pink Pajama Pierre, one of Doro's porcelain power pirate action figures. He looks like he has a whole bunch of those. Oh man, this looks like a Vuvuzela. <laughs> I don't know. Use it. I don't think they'd be amused by my YouTube offering. YouTube offering. Do I need a uh... Do I need something else? Oh god. Let's see if I can get a unicorn. I don't know if I need a unicorn. But it's the only thing I know that exists. Wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey! And I never thought I'd see a talking baboon! So I just read it. I need to make a ninja Dave. I can probably dip him in ink. Damn it! No escape! for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu! Is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Pink pajama Pierre looks a little more menacing in inky black pajamas, but he still needs some accessorizing. Sure, sure. No escape! Son of a dick! What was I supposed hey, to be doing for him? Don't be nipping, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Escapes from Lotsam Island. Bye. Keep up the pirate, kid. I'm rooting for you. Huck a bomb at this guy? <laughs> that seems like uh, not a great idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh my god, you throw like a fucking bitch. No need to explain that. Happens to the best of us. Put him in some loafers, man. That's a good idea, but I should probably try lighting it first. I, well, it's a good thing I got a fucking smoldering pile of shit. Look at the laundry. How come you're walking all the way over here? may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. I don't think... Uh, That'll last very long. Okay, run, now what? run over here, foolish. It's a good thing Windblows Undies have so much crotchal support. Crotchal. No. Oh, monkey spit. <laughs> Those are some sturdy undies. Those are some sturdy undies. Okay. Uh. Can we jam something in something? Can I use a YouTube? <laughs> I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. 
Who knows, man? I need the... Can you jam the Ninja Dave? I don't think it would look good there. Hold on. I have plenty of bombs. Lock! Sheep good? I'm close, am I? Can I Let's see? Do I put something else in these pants to keep them from going through the thing? No, use it on the pants! Three good. Those are gonna explode. Explosion. Give him a tough choice. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Gives him a tough choice. If you put a bomb in both... Let's see here. Hold on. Can I even do stuff after I do this? I don't think I have Okay. Mmm. Mm. I don't know. Forget the crank? Yeah, I thought to bomb the pants too, but I tried to click the butt the pants and uh it wouldn't let me it clicked the ship. We'll try this the pants first. Okay, now what? No, bitch. It won't let me do it. It's a good thing the bloomers are right. So much crotchal support. Crotchal. Maybe I just gotta. No. Mmm. How come I couldn't climb up this? Hop, hop, hop. Ow. Hmm. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> The goal is to knock him off. You keep trying. Oh my god. Give him a tough choice. Replace him. Dear god. Just climb over. Oh, I see. I don't want to blow that up. I forgot that was a way to try. So well close. played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. Aye, 
Why, bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! <laughs> That's pirate news, right? I just got a tip. There's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy. A genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood. Mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful. I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. We'll keep up the swashbuckling, Three Quad. And I'll be talking over the secrets of Deep Gut in no time. All right. That time I meant to press it. Oh, it does save automatically, I guess. Save. Is that how you do it? I mean, sure. Slow News Island, yeah, for sure. Alrighty, that is all for this evening. Thank you for joining. I will see you tomorrow. It will be day 100 of streaming in a row. Totally an accident, did not intend that, but here we are.